Hi everyone. Today I want to tell you a very short story. A story about something called a bamboo tree. You might be wondering what does a bamboo tree have anything to do with photography or video? Uh, just hold on to the end of the video. Uh, it will be very clear on what I want to tell you and you will be able to uh, analyze it yourself. So it won't take too long. So just hold on till the end of this video. To begin with the story about the bamboo tree. Uh, recently I came across this article about something called Chinese bamboo tree. Quite a few of you might already know about this but it was a first time for me. So what happens is that when you sow this particular variety or a type of bamboo tree it doesn't grow for the first few years and we're talking about something like three to four years no it's not weeks or months it's about three plus years there is absolutely no growth there is no uh, sprout or there is nothing happening but the moment it starts growing after the three year period it takes nothing more than six weeks for the tree to grow as tall as 60 feet or sometimes even 80 feet. Yes, for the first three years there was absolutely no sign of the tree but in the next six weeks the tree, the bamboo tree has grown as tall as 60 feet. So if you are wondering what happened to the plant for over those three years and why the sudden growth and all this stuff. If you actually look at the practical scenario, the tree is growing at the rate of 60 feet in those six weeks. So it needs a really strong foundation. So what was actually happening over the last three years was it was growing beneath the soil surface. It was spreading its root. It was making sure that its foundation is strong. So the roots were growing over the period of these three years. So once the plant starts growing, it's in such a good situation that it will sustain or withstand the weight and even the length of that particular bamboo tree. Now, if you're wondering how this has to do anything with photo or video this is exactly what we need to learn and implement especially if you are a beginner in photography or video of late i see quite a lot of people who wants to get this overnight success or shortcut to success and they try to replicate a lot of things that they follow from their top youtubers or influencers or things like that uh, people think that if you buy a camera like what peter mckinnon has you might become a superstar or if you do daily vlogs, you'll start becoming a superstar. But that's not exactly the point. A person like Casey Neistat didn't become an overnight superstar. Even before started doing his daily vlogs, he had done videos for close to 10 plus years. And he was doing videos right from the time when there was no YouTube. And for a person like Peter McKinnon, he didn't just go out and buy a camera and posted that eight camera hacks and become an overnight success. Before that, he was shooting photos and videos for magicians. And even before that, he was working as a salesman in a camera store. So all these people didn't shoot up to the fame just overnight. So what you need to learn here in conjunction with the bamboo tree is that you need to get your basics right. You need to make sure that your foundation is very strong. A lot of people just go out there and buy expensive camera and expensive lenses and lenses which is not at all relevant to their stream or genre of work and they try to expect miracle to happen overnight but what they fail to do so is that their basics and the foundation itself is very weak so what I suggest you to do especially in analogy to the story that I told you is get your foundation right be it something about the camera that you have already bought be it something about the lens that you are planning to buy or be it something related to the genre of photography that you are interested in. Spend some quality time learning about the craft of making photos and video. It's just not practical to imagine that you buy a 5D Mark III or a 5D Mark IV and a pick up an 85mm lens and go out and shoot portraits of people, you will become an overnight superstar and start making your life and living out of this profession. So you might feel that the every minute or the every hour that you're spending in front of your computer or holding your phone learning about something in photography, you might as well go out and shoot. But if you don't have your foundation right, you will struggle. And your results will nowhere be comparable to what you can actually achieve or what you even imagine getting. So this thing, what I wanted to tell in this particular video is, 
for everyone and anyone who wants to go out and explore a new genre of photography or you want to explore something new or if you are somebody who is getting into photography or getting into making movies or videos please spend quality time learning the basics get your foundation absolutely strong before you even actually go out and venture and making a livelihood out of it so if you're wondering where do i get my foundations right or where do i get my basic right the very simple answer is where you're seeing this video youtube you could actually spend some quality time searching for what you actually want to learn on youtube because most of the tutorials now are there on internet and especially on youtube as videos there was a time when we started off as uh, photographers we used to go and buy books we used to go and buy magazines because we had to wait for one long month for the next edition of the magazine to come up and actually go and learn a specific technique to shoot a photograph or even a specific technique to learn how to use photoshop for a particular effect but now everything is available on internet and everything is available on youtube and if you're somebody who really want to invest a little bit of money in it there are a lot of photography workshop that happens in the city it can be even online or it can be even in person in the city where you're living in so these are the places where you can get started with so don't hurry up and just go out and take start taking commercial assignment and start messing it up and then start cribbing that okay things are not working as you expected but what i really suggest you to do is go and learn something and the most important thing apart from investing your time and money on learning is practicing because if you don't practice and if you don't become good at what you are actually learned then there is actually no point in even doing that activity so spend more time practicing what you have learned and this will definitely yield good results on a longer run hope the small bit of advice from me was of any help to you guys if it really helped i'll be really happy to see you people grow and become that overnight success all the very best and see you again in the next one